Hi, my name is Babel Bond and I am artist in residence for Imagine Crafts Sukineko. Today I want to show you something that is not just stamping or mixed media, it's nail design. I hope you like it and I will use stays on Studio Glaze for that cause. Studio Glaze is very thick water-based pigment ink and the best thing about it is if you squeeze it and and pour some drops on a piece of paper for example it will stay like that it takes a while to dry but if it does it's it's permanent and um, it will keep its shape here you can see how three-dimensional it really is it's really beautiful and yeah I show you what you can do with it and how you can customize um, the the dots and lines that will come off the of the bottle. Okay. To create even smaller dots, I use this dotting tool. This is usually um, used for nail design, and um, you can make really small dots and lines with it normally with nail polish but we can use it with stays on studio glaze as well as you can see here you can even create custom lines and squiggle lines and play with it and instead of a dotting tool you can also use a ball pen but the ball pen um, should be uh, used for um, only dotting with uh, with with paint it cannot be used for writing afterwards so um, I have used um, a tiny amount of the stays on studio glaze um, with this dotting tool as you can see here first a larger amount to create the tip of my nail this will be the head of the little little creature that I will create On three of my nails I have put a red nail polish and two of them I have used a, a white nail polish. You will see why I have done that because I want to try several various ideas I had with the studio glaze. So on the two fingers I have put a, a large black area and a thin line in the center and smaller dots on the right and the left side of the line. This will become my, my little ladybug family and on the thumb I use um, the, the white stays on studio glaze with my dotting tool and as you can see it looks like a mushroom. The studio glaze has to dry thoroughly and because um, if you use smaller dots um, it dries faster. <laughs> this is my little ladybug family sitting on the mushroom. So for the, the two white nails I have painted, I want to make a kind of confetti effect, a fancy fun confetti effect because in Germany we are close to Carnival and then confetti is a must. So this will be my, maybe my Carnival <laughs> nail design. So I use uh, my several colors of, of the stazon, some, some fancy, uh, colorful ones, cheerful ones and I use a small tip of the dotting tool to just randomly put some dots onto my fingernails. I start with one of the colors and then I go um, to the next color and to the third color and when I'm finished I have really pretty fun and fancy confetti fingernails. To protect your lovely nail design, I recommend using a top coat um, by adding a, a, a layer of clear um, of clear nail polish. There are several nail polishes uh, available that are just made for this for this cause, and they will protect your pretty design. After the top coat has dried, I can touch everything, and my pretty nail design is protected. I hope you like my little ladybugs and they have fun on the mushroom. I love ya. Bye.